In this paper, we're specifically focused on phosphorus. Phosphorus is a macronutrient needed in agriculture. It's mined, it's a limited resource. It's taken out of the ground and processed to produce fertilizer. It goes through the agricultural system and we produce food, we eat the food and it ends up in the wastewater. We're trying to recycle that phosphorus and recover it. Um, and so to recover it, we're using this biochar um, in a water treatment process to add the phosphorus onto the biochar. Biochar is a product produced from recycled biomass and it's incinerated and it's turned into charcoal. And so now we have a, what we call a nutrient enhanced biochar. And that nutrient enhanced biochar is now a recycled phosphorus. It's recycled biomass and it's beneficial to add to soils because we can add the nutrients to the soils to essentially recycle the phosphorus and grow the crops again. So we're kind of closing the loop and increasing the sustainability of the whole process. That We use the biochar in a phosphorus recovery experiment and then we took those samples to the Canadian light source and analyzed them on the beam line to discover the phosphorus speciation. Speciation tells us what is the form of the phosphorus on the biochar. And so by discovering this, the speciation, we can have better insight into the reactions that are occurring. Few other options for directly analyzing samples and discovering molecular speciation. And the synchrotron is really valuable because it's a very bright um, light source, really limited in our discovery abilities without having access to a synchrotron.